watching Real American Artists. It's about art and the extreme nature of art. What we like to do is take an artist and have them use us. These are the things that you don't necessarily like, but you have to do them. This is a coffee table for a friend of mine. It's three big planks of wood go here. They're probably about six feet long. It's from Costa Rica. Some really beautiful hardwood. But right now, I'm missing this part. I'm looking for a piece of three inch by quarter inch cold rolled steel. Nowhere to be found. I could at least make a new one. That was not planned at all. Put this back in here. I'm gonna make a new part for the part I lost. So there's my angle. That's right where I want it. Tacked. Let's weld it up. This project's been sitting here for a month now. I need to finish it so I can clear the table to make bondage furniture. Not that I'm a big fan of bondage, but I do kind of I like to watch. I don't know what kind of wood it is, but I know that we got it from Costa Rica probably about 10 years ago. It's a nice combination of wood and steel. My million dollar hammer. I told him it would rock too, but he doesn't care. He thinks that it, uh, it'll keep his beer from spilling in an earthquake. I want to clear my table and get ready for Sunny Black because bondage is my business. We have a bondage cage that we just started building. We can do several of these. Alberto is a wonderful steel fabricator and I cannot wait to have my submissives in here tie down with no escape, doing nasty things. Like I that. design and build what I call dungeon furniture for uh, bondage and adult role play situations. I've been welding my whole life, so I know enough to be able to design it and know what kind of material we're going to need and how long it's going to take. And then Alberto tells me it's going to take three times as long, but it's worth it. There's the best work in town. Oh, Sunny Black. Haven't you ever gotten in one of your cages? Well, you know, for... To build it? You Maybe. must get in there and try it out. Come on. Well, I don't know. Get in there. <laughs> See how roomy and spacious Look at that. You come out when I say you could come oh, out Sunny boy. Black. <laughs> Sunny's a good friend of mine. For a very long time. So it's quite amusing to have him inside the cage right now. Let me out. Jim Fittipaldi, Come on in. owner of Bedlam Gallery in Los oh. Angeles, commissioned me <laughs> to build a gun booth for his house, so we're going to build it for him. Tough challenge. <laughs> Tough challenge, bro. Woo! Four days we've been uh, building. Getting interesting. Now we have a deadline. Getting there. Console TV we selected from the street. Gabriel and I picked it up yesterday. Uh, we're going to gut it, and we'll be shooting our guns uh, into the screen. Basically, we're pointing our guns back at the TV since they've been pointing guns at us for so long. An American artist, we shoot back. And turn it off. There it is. 28 and an eighth by 40 and a quarter. This is a small gun booth um, by 12 feet long. 28 and an eighth by. It'll be. Perfect for uh, the conditions that we'll be up against in downtown LA. You want to try to keep these things confined to a small space and as safe as possible. You never know when an accident can happen with a gun. And always remember that when you're handling your weapons at home, make sure they're unloaded. Make sure there isn't an extra bullet in the chamber. You know what to do. It's your gun. Be responsible. Gabe's dog got lost and they couldn't find our the address, so I'm doing a little reverse image. Uh, this is going to serve as a warm up when we do the guns on the plate. It's another great thing about art is you can kind of manipulate it the way you want it to work for you. 
You know, what some people hate, you just say you did it on purpose. You done talking on the phone yet? I'm talking to the neighbors. Oh, great. They're trying to pay me for that little job, and I'm like, I can't take money for that. I'll take the money. No, but we'll take some burritos and some hot no. chili, some good food. We've got Gabriel here. He can cut, like, uh, when's, when he's not on the phone or doing his uh, homework. Guete. That's street slang for gun. Guete. What we're doing here is clearing off all the edges. When you uh, do a weld job, you'll notice you'll get some excess metal that clings to the edges. It's called slag. This is called slag. And what I'm doing is taking a chisel and knocking off the slag so that we can get the clean edges so they could be cleared up by grinding no, and polishing. Just... You got four days to go. It's going to be a tough build, but I'm sure we're going to make it. Because we're artists. That's all that matters.